Hello, and thanks for tuning in. In this review, I'm going to be taking a look at a gross-out comedy from the one and only Tom Green. And now, Freddy Got Fingered. The movie is about a 28-year-old man who lives in his parents' basement and chases his dreams of fame. Obviously, the film is quasi-autobiographical, mirroring real-life events from Green's life. It needs to be said that if you're not a fan of Tom Green's usual work, you should absolutely just not even watch this. The movie almost acts as a highlight reel of all his best clips from his TV show. Although there is a deeper message at play of chasing your dreams in the face of great adversity if you want to dig deeper. As you would expect, there are a lot of completely ridiculous moments and things that will shock you. Most of them are hilarious and hold up very nicely, although a few do fall flat. I should also note that I quote this film on almost a weekly basis, so again, I'm probably going to be a bit biased in this review. Green pulls a smart move and surrounds himself with an extremely competent cast, including Rip Torn, Julie Haggerty, Anthony Michael Hall, and Harlan Williams. There's also a cameo from his then-wife, Drew Barrymore. Gee, I wonder how he managed to get her in the flick. All of the cast do a pretty good job in their roles, although it is worth noting that this film is completely absurdist and nothing is meant to be taken overly seriously. There's a surprising amount of gore in the film despite it being a comedy, and most of it looks really good, though it's played up for laughs. The movie's not very long, clocking in at a little over 85 minutes, but it moves very briskly. There's a punk soundtrack that, while I'm not very fond of, does seem to fit the picture well. There's also a bit of original score that also complements the film nicely. The movie actually won five Razzie Awards, including Worst Actor and Director, for which Green showed up in person and had to be dragged off stage after starting to play a harmonica during his acceptance speech. Despite its status as one of the worst films ever made, it's pretty competently shot. In closing, if you like ridiculous, absurd, and absolutely hilarious comedy, you should go ahead and give this a shot. Don't listen to the naysayers. It's pretty damn funny.